Kilauea volcano is not erupting. However, heightened unrest has returned to the Upper East Rift Zone and the South Summit Caldera. Earthquake counts have increased over the past day and steady inflation continues to be recorded. The current USGS volcano alert level remains at advisory. As of Tuesday morning, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has not initiated any closures in the Upper East Rift Zone. Last week, similar seismic activity prompted some closures along Chain of Craters Road and a suspension of overnight camping in select coastal sites. This USGS map shows recent deformation as recorded by an Italian space agency satellite. The colored fringes show areas of ground motion, indicative of inflation as the magma reservoir below the caldera pressurized during this time. White circles mark the locations of earthquakes during the same period. This graph showing a week's worth of data tracks the number of earthquakes per day in the blue bars at the top and below the depth and size of the quakes during the same time frame. The depth is reported relative to sea level, which means the higher the circle, the more shallow the earthquake. Note the brief cessation in activity over the weekend. During the same time, ground deformation effectively ceased beneath the summit region. Then as Monday began, activity picked up once again. In its Tuesday analysis, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory repeated that at this time, it is not possible to say whether this increase in activity will lead to an intrusion or an eruption in the near future, or simply continue as seismic unrest at depth. Scientists warn that changes in the character and location of this unrest can occur quickly, as can the potential for an eruption.